Hello Gemini, welcome to a love reading. This is a you and them love reading where we're going to be looking at how you feel about each other, what's going on in the connection, and what's the potential outcome. This is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Gemini watching, so just keep that in mind. And let's just get right into it. I'm going to pull some energy cards first, just to get your energies for Gemini. What messages do you have for Gemini in love? What messages do you have for Gemini Star in love? How's Gemini feeling in this connection? How's Gemini feeling in this connection? Deceit? Hmm. You might be feeling like you're being lied to by this other person. Or perhaps you're hiding something yourself. Let's see. What about the person at Gemini? Hmm. What about the person that Gemini is dealing with? What are their energies? That was way too many. What is going on with my cards? What about the person that Gemini is dealing with? What are their energies for caring connections? Mm hmm. So I don't feel like you're on the same boat here or on the same page. What's going on in this connection? What's going on in this connection? Adjacent possibilities, choices, opportunities, bottom of the deck man holding a heart. Interesting. Tell me more about these energies. For Gemini. Tell me more about these energies for Gemini in love. Tell me about Gemini's energy. What's this deceit energy about spirit? Death reverse. Scorpio energy. It's about someone that's resisting change, resisting an ending. You could be deceiving yourself here, Gemini, about something being really over or not. What about Gemini's person? What can you tell me about this caring connections energy? Nine of Pentacles. Nope. Nine of Cups. So wish fulfillment, someone's wish is to have a caring connection, I feel, with you. Something emotionally fulfilling. Very interesting. Tell me about the mutual energies. What is this adjacent possibilities about? And then we'll get some more information with the tarot. Well, this is the tarot too, but you know what I mean. Four of Swords Reverse. Interesting. So some sort of action being taken here regarding uh, a new opportunity, a new door, a new possibility opening up for you in this connection or for this other person. This could be somebody that's speaking up after some time of silence or someone taking up action after no action. Now this is interesting, Gemini, because I have here like with um, death reverse, this is someone that is not uh, ready to end a situation, not ready to have a change, or resisting that. Um, resisting something ending and then deceit. So it's almost like someone's telling themselves that something is not really over, or someone believes that something is over, even though it's really not. Now, Gemini, I have you on this side and I have your person on the other, but feel free to flip them if they resonate, because the energies can be vice versa. Um, however, to avoid confusion, your Gemini over here, and this is your person. Now, this is very interesting because I feel like this is like a turning point here in your connection. 
Maybe there hasn't been a lot of action, a lot of communication, a lot of progress, but it's like a, uh, a turn, turning point. Tell me more for Gemini. Tell me about Gemini's energy. How is Gemini thinking or feeling when it comes to this connection or this other person? Knight of Swords reverse again with like either deceit or um, not communicating or not the best communication. King of Pentacles reverse. Hmm. What else for Gemini? Six of Cups reverse. This is something from the, someone or something from the past here that I feel. Yeah, death card, Scorpio energy. It's like something from the past that, that's already over or, or needs to end. This King of Pentacles reverse. Yeah, there's distance here, struggle. With the Five of Pentacles, perhaps there's not a lot of communication. Could be a Scorpio as well. This is very interesting, Gemini, because it's almost like someone from the past or a situation from the past didn't work out or there was maybe deception as in maybe you weren't completely honest with this person or this person wasn't completely honest with you. Could have been an earth sign or another air sign or Scorpio, like I said, um, but the King of Pentacles reverse, they tend to um, be a little greedy, not very stable energy. Um, sometimes they're in a commitment and they're unhappy. We'll clarify that a little bit later. Let's look at your person. Tell me about Gemini's person. What are they thinking or feeling about Gemini at this time? Five of Pentacles. So yeah, this person feels shut out. Perhaps you're not communicating with this person or they're struggling in some way. Maybe feeling lonely or missing you. What else can you tell me about this person that Gemini is dealing with? Five of Swords. There could have been some sort of conflict, arguments. Maybe um, this person wasn't fair to you or deceived you in some way. What else can you tell me about this person? Maybe they feel this is how you treated them. Like you abandoned them. The moon reverse, Pisces energy. Something's coming out though here. With the moon reverse. And that's the same energy of the four of swords reverse in the sense of like, whatever was hidden is now going to be uncovered whatever someone was thinking about they're going to act on now with the four of swords reverse and it's almost like they've been waiting for a door to open tell me about the mutual energies here between gemini and this person what's going on in this connection spirit two of cups reverse so there's some sort of disconnect or a separation that already took place. What's going on in this connection? Five of Wands, some sort of conflict, drama, disagreement, or just too many people here. Bottom of the deck, Queen of Swords. There you are. I feel like this is someone that, um, or something where it's like communication was a big problem. We have some coffee. Either someone didn't say things the right way or something wasn't said or someone wasn't telling the whole story. Something like that. So let's clarify these energies. Let's get some more information here. Now, keep in mind, this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Gemini watching. Just because you're watching this reading does not mean that this is your message, okay? 
Uh, don't try to make this fit if it's not your story. Um, take what resonates, leave the rest. If you watch readings, you already know the drill. If this is not resonating at all, check out my playlist for Gemini or check back next week. But if it is resonating, let me know how it's resonating for you in the comments. Let me clarify these energies, please. Gemini. Let's start with your mutual energies here. What happened with this two of cups reverse? I was going to say two of swords. Not, not sure why. why. Why is the uh, two of cups reverse here for Gemini? The devil reverse. Capricorn energy. Why is the two of cups reverse for Gemini? And this other person, what's going on here? Page of Cups. There could be some sort of um, apology here. Or someone expressing how they feel to you. Ten of Pentacles reversed. This was a big loss. Whoever, whatever this was, Gemini, that caused a disconnect, I feel like someone feels it was a huge loss or a huge failure here. The Five of Swords is a card of failure, so, and loss. Um, this could also be for a small number of you, um, someone, this could be a connection outside of you. So, for example... This is your connection outside of this person, or this is this person's connection outside of you and them, if that makes sense. So like a third party energy here, but it could also come from you. So some some sort of energy here where uh, it, it's, it's a separation outside of this connection. I don't know why I can't speak English today. <laughs> that happened yesterday too. Okay, so yeah, 10 of Pentacles reverse, typically like family issues, financial insecurity, um, a loss of some sort, a broken commitment. And then I have the devil reverse. So it's almost like um, a commitment that someone has broken out of is what it looks like here. Um, and then, you know, I feel like that's going to give someone an opportunity to speak up. That's what I'm seeing. For others of you, I feel like this was your connection and someone's going to apologize for this. For the fact that things became so messed up. Why is the five of wands here? The magician. So someone's manifesting um, something, trying to make something happen here. Why is the five of wands here? The sun reverse. They could be doing this in secret and strength. Leo energy. All major arcanas. These are major shifts in energy. This is someone with the strength card and the magician. This is someone who's trying to bring back some sort of control. You could definitely be dealing with a Leo here. But this is someone that's trying to bring back control. Strength is a card of courage and strength, yes. But also about having control without using a lot of force being able to control or face a challenge without almost like um with using a strength other than physical force <clears throat> so I'm, I'm picturing someone here who's seeing this five of wands whatever conflict this is whatever disagreements or drama and they're trying to bring this back into control but I feel like with the sun reverse, I don't know if this is because they're just very unhappy at the way things are, or if they are trying to um, do this in the dark. I do have a moon reverse here. Tell me about the sun reverse. Why is the sun reverse? <laughs> 
seven of swords rivers exactly this is someone doing it in the dark <laughs> they're probably going to get caught or you know it won't be in the dark for long which is probably why the moon is reverse okay so let's see gemini what is going on over here with this deceit situation what's going on why is the knight of swords reverse The world reverse. Unfinished business. Again, I'm getting the sense of someone being deceptive about something not ending, not being wrapped up. The world reverse is about not ending a chapter or a cycle or resisting uh, ending a cycle or a chapter. And same with the death card reverse. So I'm getting very um, similar energy here. Tell me more about uh, Tell me more about the Knight of Swords reverse. Okay, so a lot of cards want to come out. I wanted only one, but Five of Swords again, the Chariot wanted to come out, Cancer Energy, and Six of Swords. This is definitely movement, travel. This is about uh, moving forward, moving on, leaving something behind. Um, this could be where you, you know, Gemini, you're actually going to see someone, visiting them or something like that. And then the Five of Swords, again with the deceit, the unfair, it's, it's, you know, this is energy where someone's unfair to you or you're not telling someone everything. The Five of Swords is literally a man who shows up to a sword fight with three swords and these two people brought one each so it's not a f you know it's not fair they're not playing fair they're trying to game the system take advantage the world reverse Unfinished business. Something not being closed out. I don't know. I, I feel like this is someone who... I'm seeing two very different messages. So take it as it resonates. The first message I'm getting is that someone... You're dealing with a person who's supposed to close a chapter or cycle in their life... And they haven't. They've deceived you about that. So you're leaving. You're like, screw this. <laughs> For others of you, I feel like this happened in the past. Someone left this connection, but didn't tie up the loose ends. And they weren't completely honest about the situation or what happened. Or perhaps you weren't honest with them. Why is the King of Pentacles reverse? There's the Six of Cups again with the Moon. Some sort of illusion in the past or some sort of situation where you don't know everything about the past. You could be dealing with the Pisces. It's almost like there's something in the past that's not clear, not 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 really muddy. It's like muddied, confusing. Something's hidden about the past. And I feel like it has to do because of this King of Pentacles reverse. This is someone that I feel hasn't been completely honest or clear about something that happened here in the past with you and them. And I have the Page of Swords reverse, which to me is like a card of someone that's not telling the whole story. So I don't know if this already happened in the past, or if this is happening right now, Gemini. But I feel like because of the way things have ended uh, with this person, or because of the way things have unfolded in this connection, you're unable to let go of something in the past because there's no clarity, there's no closure, there is no real ending is what it feels like. 
there's confusion and it's almost like all of this confusion is keeping you kind of stuck here why is the six of cups reverse five of cups and the higher font Taurus energy there with the higher font it's almost like someone sad about a commitment so it could be that this person Either they affected your commitment, like you had a commitment with this person and their regrets, or this person left you for another commitment. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Why is the Five of Pentacles here? Communication, movement with the Eight of Wands. Tell me about the Five of Pentacles. Nine of Wands reverse. Eight of Swords. Fear, overthinking, being stuck. This is someone that's a little bit too, there's too much thinking involved here. Too many, um, like, like a defensive energy. Lack of trust. Um, this is also someone that's been really affected with the five of pentacles and the nine of wands reverse. They've been affected. Even their health could be affected. I feel like someone's very scared to talk to you, but that's what they want to do. And in order to talk to you, they have to like, not be so protective of themselves or they need to break through some sort of barrier that you've put up why is the five of swords here the hangman reverse and the nine of pentacles reverse so someone's not free they're still attached to something It could be that um, this person deceived you or they uh, they uh, weren't fair to you because they weren't willing to sacrifice something or they weren't willing to um, detach themselves from something. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Two of Swords reverse. This is a decision this person needs to make or perhaps they're refusing to make a decision. Yeah. Uh, Hermit reverse Virgo energy. This is someone that literally is running away from their problems or doesn't want to really face a certain decision. It could be this person because of the sacrifices or because of finances, um, they might be running away from making a, a necessary decision. Tell me about the moon reverse. What's this about? Emperor's reverse. Tell me about the moon reverse. Tell me about the moon reverse. Hmm. I feel like whatever comes out here, someone's going to have to fight. And this is not someone, the Hermit Reverse is not someone that fights. What in the world is this? Resistance, rising to the challenge, the Seven of Wands. Courage, standing up for yourself. I feel like that's what someone needs to do or perhaps they're so busy kind of running away from something and, and keeping something to themselves keeping something hidden the hermit reverse and then it, when it comes out there's a fight Tell 
tell me about the seven of wands. Tower reverse. This is someone that's trying to avoid a tower. Again, this idea of control. It's almost like this person that, that you're dealing with, um, Gemini. They're trying to re re retain control or <clears throat> manifest something here. This could also be you trying to get answers, but I feel like this is someone that's trying to retain control. And I feel like it's not going to work out the way that they expect with the Seven of Swords reverse. The Seven of Wands and the Moon reverse. It's like they've been trying to avoid a tower all this time. Perhaps because of this Empress in the way. Who knows? Um, the Empress Reverse is typically someone that is very difficult to deal with. Um, this is something that's also not able to be manifested or grown. So I feel like this is like the Magician reversed in a way. So whatever they were trying to manifest, I don't think it happened the way they thought is why I'm seeing that. And I feel like, you know, they were really trying to keep this from happening, but it's going to happen. Interesting. So what is the potential outcome for Gemini and this other person? Spirit. What is the potential outcome here in the near future? We got the two of wands reverse. Potential outcome, please. The sun. Okay, some sort of clarity. Good news. But what I'm seeing is like clarity. Something's going to come out with this moon reverse, seven of swords reverse, and it's going to be very clear. What's the potential outcome here for Gemini and this other person? Oh, I got two. Wow. Knight of cups and ten of swords together. This could easily be someone, um, again, it could be somebody apologizing for some sort of ending. Or it could be somebody taking advantage of some sort of separation or ending to bring you an offer. I have the Nine of Pentacles at the bottom. So this could be somebody that's recently single or free of something. And now they can um, make their offer here to you. With the Knight of Cups. I feel like this is, if this is um, something you've been waiting for, I feel like it's going to make you very happy. Otherwise, this could be like some sort of reveal, someone revealing their true feelings for you. And this is like a path they've chosen here with the Two of Wands reverse. They've made their choice. All right, Gemini, I will see you all in another video. Take care.